drive. And so is this one. Good morning and welcome back to our channel. How's it going guys? You having a good day? We're having a great day. Look what we're starting. Boom. So the, uh, the lift kit came in about a week ago. We've been so busy we haven't been able to work on it. Right here, a little rough country four inch lift kit. That's the leaf spring. All the little parts are right there. And in this box are the uh, spacers. Yeah, for the wheels. So we're gonna get started and work on this. First, we're gonna do the back side. Okay, now that we're done with that. We're we'll gonna start getting the wheels off. Grab the impact. So, I mean, we can build up some. some now we gotta take the U bolts off, but we're gonna get some support under there first. Okay. Boom. Oh, oh, dropping the camera. Making it happen, y'all. Booyah. So, we got one side off. I know you can hardly hear me because of that thing. But if you see, we got the one side off, uh, the new leaf is in, but we're going to have to start on the other side first so that whole axle can drop together and then we can bolt it all on. I hope you guys can hear this. I have headphones in, I can hardly hear. Okay y'all, so we got the back lifted, the tires on, and we're going to show you a little comparison of what it was to what it is. Let's see, let's back up over here. So that's stock with Aiden in it. There we go. And that's not stock. Wow. Y'all gotta see this lean, bro. This is insane. Look at how much this thing is tipping. That is so sick. And look at the poke on these tires, man. This is insane. That is like honestly more than half the tire. Like this would be the middle of the tire right here. Oh yeah. So sick. So now we're gonna start working on the front. Start taking the tires off, get that lift in there on the jacks and just start pulling it apart. We'll keep filming as we go along. But hoorah, this probably won't be done today. Uh, no. It's gonna upload maybe upload. tomorrow or Wednesday. But uh, yeah, it's pretty sick. We don't have the shocks in the back yet. There's no shocks on. I think the old ones are just sitting in there. And we still gotta tighten these bolts up. But uh, it's got to uh, kind of settle first. So they sit natural. And uh, so when we lift it, the front up, we'll like drive back and forth real quick to get it to settle and we'll really just crank everything down, tighten it up. But man, it's sick. So let's get started on the front. That thing was ridiculous. And it's probably because it was flat and we drove on it, but it's off now. And so is this one. What time you want to go? Mm. Get up about same time. I mean, I got up at five forty-five. I mean, I'll be up at five forty-five. It'll be dark. It's really dark out there. I'm gonna do like six thirty. Six thirty. It's still dark. Six thirty. We're coming back at it again tomorrow morning. We reached an impasse to where the U-bolts. That's the old one. But the new ones look like that. They don't fit in the front one, so either we're gonna have to drill it out some more or bend it or something. Aiden's got a party to go to. I'm gonna go to the gym, so we're calling it a day. And in three, two, one. Whew. 
And just like that, we out here for day two. Starting off pretty fast. Uh, what we gotta do, if Aiden can show you. The U-bolts don't fit. So we gotta go put these in a vice grip, kinda pinch them in a little bit. Come on, rough country, what you doing to us? Retarded. So, let's go pinch those and see if we can get them to work. So we had to heat it up because it just kept bending back. We'll see if that fixes our problem. Just leave it alone for a second and let that bitch cool down. Hopefully it's a thumbs up. Doesn't, possible doesn't look like it moved at all well, let's just double check it let's see it's right here does it work no, I have to do it again more bend Geez, rough country, what you doing? Making life so difficult. Oh, that's real white. There we go. Okay, we well, see what we're doing. We're uh, we'll get back to it when it's right. It worked. Heating it up and getting it in, it worked. So we're gonna put that on and we'll touch base when uh, this side's done, I guess. Uh, okay, so we have. The leaf springs on every side. Let's see, boom, bam, boom. Uh, they're all good and ready to go. Now we're working on getting the track bar bracket in. A couple of the other brackets done. Uh, that's what's going to take us a little bit longer now, and uh, we'll get back to you when we got all the brackets in and everything. I don't feel like filming all this stuff. It's hard to work and film, and I need a videographer. Where's my wife at? She's at work. I'm dirty, I'm grimy, and why does everything, this is the last thing you do, have to be such a pain in the ass? So, we literally got everything on. The last thing we have to do, other than dropping the transfer case and putting spacers in, that'll take, you know, 10 minutes to do that, by the way, is going to be putting this pitman arm on. First of all, we cut the crap out of it to break it and get it off because it wasn't coming off. It was so glued on to the old one. And we're going to put the new one on. And guess what? It's the wrong one. Yeah. I ordered the kit off Rough Country Online. And uh, 
online it says is it a manual or standard car or <clears throat> manual or I don't know I didn't read it that well it said manual or whatever I said manual thinking that maybe they need different spacers or whatever for the drop back for the transmission because transmissions are different so I said manual what they're referring to is it a manual power steering or manual steering or powered steering that's what they're referring to so the the pitman arm is wrong called rough country they're gonna give me my money back for the part I gotta send it to them and stuff but like what it should be non power steering or power steering not manual or standard fix that fix your website you idiots so we'll come back to this in probably three days before these fools get it to me in shipping. And just like that, guys, it's done. We did have a couple problems at the end. Had to order an extra part, so this is days later. Uh, the Pitman arm, they actually sent us the wrong Pitman arm, so we had to send that back, get a new one. You know what it is. Thanks, Rough Country. Uh, but they got us the part within like two days, so, you know, I'm not too upset. And uh, without further ado, here's the Jeep all lifted. Soundstripe.